Even in all, welcome back to Dust. And um, my goodness, we have a lot of dust flying through the channel at the moment. And um, it's always an interesting kind of metric. Whenever you look at a YouTuber's page, but generally what you see they're doing videos of is what they're playing. Um, usually they'll give you some flannel like, oh yeah, well I'm playing loads of Minecraft, but I'm not doing videos of it. And I hate to say, but that's usually a load of you know, great big steaming flannel because the reality is, is that is most times you do videos of what you play. And that, that's kind of how I guess most YouTubers are. You do what you can basically do. Um, and I think the fact that we've done a lot of a huge amount of dust lately. There is a triple SP event as well, but weirdly enough, I haven't actually captured much footage of that at all. Um, I, I went through this process of just literally having so much footage of this game, and I thought to myself, should I delete this? And I looked at my, my folders, and I had three terabyte of, of footage. Now, to give you an idea, that's probably, I hmm, don't know, four, three, four thousand matches maybe, probably a bit less, but it was an awful lot. Um, some of it was also uh, multiple matches in one folder and so on. So, you know, you can kind of get an, an idea that there, that's an awful lot of footage. Um, and it was funny because I was actually looking at footage from the very first video I did and I was looking at then sort of stuff later on and it's amazing how much this game has changed. Graphically, um, I guess it's obviously changed, but um, just the, the spirit of the game, the kind of feeling, the essence, the width of the game is still very much what it originally was when it came out and that's awesome. I really like that and I think there was um, it was an interesting thing to see Manus Peak, the original Manus Peak, which was bloody huge. Um, with us fighting around with all, you know, div, uh, with uh, assault rifles, all with those lovely sights on them that the TAC AR has. <laughs> well, actually, no better than those. They had the really good electronic sights. Anyway, long story. Um, you know, but it's funny seeing how far this game has come. Um, and I think that has to be, I think, one of its celebrated factors is that you know, this game has been going for two years now. And there is an awful lot of, of, of great stuff that's come from it. I know it never really became a, I guess, a cult success. It never, well, actually, let me let me take that back. And I think it never became a mainstream success, but I think it has become a cult success because there is still a fanatical amount of people who love this game and, and, um, and play it. And that's really cool. I think that's always going to be... The, the, the best you can hope for when you do a game is that you do a product that people will continue to want to play. It doesn't matter, you know, it, it would be nice if millions of people wanted to play it continually, but the you know, Minecrafts and the, the battlefields and the, you know, the, the space engineers, I guess, are, are few and far between. So you do have to accept that there's not going to be hundreds of those games at any one point. Dust, to me, considering CCP had never done this before, considering that they had done this from a very long way away in, in China, which, again, you know, I'm not, not being funny, but that's quite a challenge in itself to coordinate global teams without seeing them and blah, blah, blah. Um, I think the reality is, is they produced a phenomenally good product. I really wish more people would, would have played Dust because I think if, and I do the videos because I think when I, when I, in the closed beta, when I started to see what the game was becoming, it was pretty evident that this was going to be a really fun, I want to say Twitch shooter, but I, I kind of knew it wasn't. I, th I think it's a bit more than that. I think it was always going to become kind of like an interesting addition or an extension to the FPS genre. FPSs are so staid and and similar in their format. They're, they're actually quite they're actually quite boring. FPS is generally not the most interesting um, games in the world because they 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 always have a very fixed format, which is pretty much running around with a gun, doing an objective, capturing a point, if that's the sort of gameplay, deathmatch and that kind of thing. It's all a little bit boring. Um, and that, to be honest, was what I feared Dust would become. Now, weirdly enough, it did. But it, it gave it, I think it just became so much more than it because it had so much kind of more character behind it. The economy was a big, big selling point to me. That, that factor of being, you know, you could be the best player in the game, but if you lost more money... <clears throat> on the battlefield then in theory you're the worst because a mercenary is there for their pocket they're there for their pocketbook their wallet whatever you call it um so yes you could win a victory but if you lost 10 tanks doing it you kind of lost and i really like that sort of weird um irony and and i guess yeah you know situation where you could get so many um different feelings and you know it was it was a real ambivalent game because it was very kind of good and bad at the same time there were positives and negatives all through but it was also a very kind of subjective game as well 
Now, th- don't get me wrong. Don't don't make uh, don't let me make you think that there was um, you know kind of major problems that weren't done properly in this game um, because there were. There were quite a lot of issues I think with this game. I think CCP as well. Th- there. Let me let me talk about CCP very quickly. I know I've done this before, but let me just in a in a nutshell give you what my opinion is of them. Is CCP is a great creative you know kind of um, almost engine of production. But their biggest problem is is that they are afraid of their user base. I think this is because there's not enough of them. If they had millions of of customers, you can afford to kind of be a bit more, I guess, um, ooh, difficult and, and a bit more like steel rod with them. Whereas when you don't, when you have literally the customers they've got, which is probably around two, three hundred thousand in entirety, so even everything. Um, they were very, they were always very easily swayed. So when, you know, in, in Goon Swarm, when we started to kind of petition them with certain things, it was pretty evident that they were a little bit afraid of negative publicity. It was pretty evident they were afraid of their reputation as a bit of a, a prodigy being tarnished. And that was quite interesting to me because I think that's why also they've had a bit of trouble with, um, with this game as well, is that they've tried very hard to I think just be the prodigy that they they feel they should be and I think that's maybe not the case they should have been maybe a bit tougher with this um I think also there's there's a lot of kind of challenges that I think it just you know I almost want to say that the fact that it was on the PS3 seemed to give a lot of challenges as well because they, they didn't really have full control over their product so they, they it just felt like Sony and the QA process of Sony seemed to kind of give them a lot more trouble than needed so generally I think that was always going to be a challenge on CCP as well um, perhaps they had the wrong mission statement to begin with because I think they wanted to make a lobby shooter yet they ironically should have made a sandbox game like DayZ in space and if they'd have made DayZ in space I think this could be a very different discussion right now but I think also the fact is it would never have worked on PS3 Daisy in space has to be on PC I'm sorry but it does these sandbox games need that kind of PC market you know PS uh, PlayStation and Xbox gamers don't generally log on to go and mine for two hours a, a day on you know on a console they don't they log on to play a game and have fun immediately and I think that has also got to be a big difference between because you don't see many MMOs on console at all you don't see many I think um, open world sandbox style game. So the fact that Space Engineers is coming to the Xbox One is hilarious to me because it's just not going to work. It's not going to work because I don't feel that that's the kind of uh, group that would play a game like Space Engineers unless they make it very arcadey. I think they're 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 kind of shooting themselves in the foot with that one. This is just my opinion. It doesn't mean I'm right. It just these. This is my honest opinion that. I, I have a console, and this is just my opinion again, as I say. I have a console because I want to switch the bloody thing on, load a game, get in a gang, and get into a fight very quickly. I don't, you know, with Eve, I load up Eve, I sit at my computer, I spend two or three hours forming a gang. It then takes about that long to actually find a group who's willing to fight you, and you just end up chasing them around. Then you have a bigger group that chases you around because you don't want to get completely stumped so you don't actually have a good fight. And then about five hours later, you might have one or two good fights, and then you're dead, and then you log off. Not many console gamers are going to get put up with that. And this is this is my kind of issue with the whole thing is that CCP went from like the one extreme of PC sandbox open world games all the way through the gaming chart to console gaming, lobby shooting, quick action style games. And it's almost unbelievable that they didn't just map that on a board and say, hang on, that's a huge leap away from our skill base. Are we sure about this? And ironically, we, you know, I'm obviously right in saying that because what they're doing now with Legion is all the way back on PC, sandbox, open world, right back where Eve was. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Maybe some more analysis next time.